Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows focusing and localization of acute appendicitis, inflamed appendix. You can see the area of scanning is the right iliac fossa, and you are going to see the ascending colon. Now, if you scan the ascending colon from upper to lower side and until you reach the cecum then you can see and search for the inflamed appendix this is the cecum and now you can see adjacent to the area of the intestine just adjacent to the cecum the appendix is visible mm -hmm. appendicitis is a painful swelling of the appendix the appendix is a small thin pouch about 5 to 10 cm that is about 2 to 4 inches long it is connected to the large intestine where poo forms. Nobody knows exactly what the appendix does, but removing it is not harmful, it is said. Not all people will have the same symptoms, but it is crucial that you see a doctor as quickly as possible. According to John Hop Hopkins Medicine, the appendix can rupture as quickly as 48 to 72 hours after the onset of symptoms. Now the consensus dictates that the main etiology of the appendicitis is obstruction secondary to fecolith formation within the lumen of the appendix in adults. Other uncommon causes may include parasites, undigested plants or fruit, residues, trauma and foreign bodies. Now fecolith is a hard stony mass of feces in the intestinal tract. A fecolith can obstruct the appendix leading to appendicitis. Now you can see the whole length of the appendix, transverse view of the appendix. In this case, there is no fecalith seen inside the lumen of the appendix. An appendix uh, appendiculate is a calcified deposit within the appendix. They are present in a large number of children with acute appendicitis and may be an incidental finding on an abdominal radiology or CT scan. Incidentally, incidence may increase among patients with a retrocecal appendix. Now, by using the high frequency probe, that is high power linear probe, you can see a tubular structure in the right iliac fossa surrounded by a hypoechoic rim. It is the transverse view. Now you can see the small amount of fluid in the surrounding this tubular structure in most of the cases. In this case, there is no significant fluid. Now by sweeping the probe, you can see a longitudinal view of the tubular structure. Bowl walls are thin, both ends of the tubular structures are blunt. By applying some pressure with the probe, you can see that this structure is not compressible. It doesn't collapse. A significant mucus and debris are seen in the, in the interior of the inflamed appendix. But no fecalith is seen in this case. You may find fecalith in some other cases. This area is extremely tender with the patient experiencing intense pain. Appendicitis happens when the inside of the appendix is blocked, appendicitis may be caused by various infections such as viruses, bacteria or parasites in the digestive tract or it may happen when tube 
that joins the large intestine and appendix is blocked or trapped by stools. Most of the patient, when a pandicolith, uh, with the pandicolith are asymptomatic, you can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button.